how is it going viewers brad proprietor of barstool entertainment doing another gta san andreas video this is not a walkthrough video like i have been doing it is another fun random video related to exporting vehicles a while back i posted a video in regards to stealing a patriot the easy way and when i left the chalkboard there were six other vehicles that needed to be stolen and exported some of those vehicles actually have specific locations on the map where those vehicles can be found and easily accessed for some of the vehicles I will be showing the location. If not, I will be describing the location or the general location will pop up on the screen. Some of the vehicles on the list did not have specific locations. So those vehicles had to be found at random. It was several hours of gameplay to gather the last six vehicles during that time there was some random insanity i that i managed to record i will do my best to edit all the vehicles together along with the random insanity that took place which cj witnessed or was a participant in in order to not have an exceedingly long video, I will be doing a lot of transitions and fast forwards. Before I get into the video, I would like to thank those who are subscribing. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up icon. If you like these types of videos, subscribe to my channel. Subscribing costs nothing. I subscribe to dozens, possibly a hundred different channels, and find plenty of content I enjoy watching during my spare time. So let's get on with this video. The first vehicle I'm going to get is the Sanchez motorbike, it is in Angel Pines. Next to the mobile home CJ took refuge in during the Badlands mission. This is why I am having him parachute into the community. I had CJ stop into the Cluck and Bell for a quick snack, and now he is running over to the trailer park here where he had originally took in refuge during the Badlands mission. And there you have the Sanchez. And a quick save. The Sanchez here automatically spawns all the time. So it's easy enough to get the Sanchez. You just have to ride it to Easter Basin docks in order to bring it to the ship. I will fast forward the journey because, well, nothing really random happened that was interesting, or at least not overly interesting. Now CJ has made it to the docks. In this case, you don't need to use the crane. With motorbikes, you can just ride them up the gangplank here and park them in the circle at which point cj will automatically dismount and get credit for having exported the vehicle eighty five hundred not bad that's probably the cheapest vehicle on the list now I'm going to have CJ run down to the chalkboard and check out what vehicles still need to be stolen and exported. 
And now there's only five vehicles, the Feltzer, Remington, Sentinel, Infernus, and Camper. And I'm going to have CJ run over. And one of the things I did was sometimes I will have CJ steal the forklift and drive it up to where his garage is. It's a very short drive. And the forklift is a really slow vehicle. But I ran into a little fun and randomness that I decided to do with the forklift. And kind of it's really difficult to control because it is a rear wheel drive vehicle. So I'm going to get to the random part here in a very short moment. It is involving the train tracks here and CJ kind of not being able to uh, get it balanced right. So again, I'm just going to let this play out and let you watch the fun. Then I decided, hey, this is a forklift. Let's kind of screw around a little bit and try and pick up um, a car or at least part of a car here. Check out this scrape on my knee. Shit! While looking for another vehicle, I had CJ go to the gym, and when he exited, this happened. I'm late for Dr. Ockball's That type of random stuff doesn't really seem to happen in Los Santos or Las Venturas, or at least I haven't seen a lot of it. It seems to happen in San Piero a lot. Well, sometimes it's kind of funny and weird. I'm going to have CJ move on to the next vehicle, which is the Infernus, which does have a specific location in San Piero. This Infernus sometimes has a problem, and that problem is it won't open. It's just sealed shut, and CJ can't steal it. Now, the best way to handle this is to leave the area and hopefully the Infernus will regenerate and CJ can open it. In this case, I'm going to have CJ steal this Banshee. Uh, the Banshee does have a specific location and it is on the exporting list. So, you know, you really don't have to keep a Banshee around. It's just kind of a nice car that I like because it reminds me of the Dodge Viper, which I really like. 
And there's a number of properties CJ can buy in San Fierro where he can store vehicles if need be. And that's kind of what you might want to do is buy these properties with garages and find vehicles like sports cars or luxury cars and store them in the garages until you need them because it's a lot easier than trying to randomly find them and then end up with spending hours of play just to find them. And so I'm having CJ run back to where the Infernus is and hopefully it will have regenerated and he can then uh, simply steal it and bring it back for exporting. Yeah, this is the wrong house. And I'm going to turn CJ around, get oriented. If you see in the little map in the lower left corner, and CJ is looking right at where the Infernus should be, and you can locate this area on the map. The Infernus should be in one of the houses here, the back house that CJ is going to run toward. And hopefully, again, it's regenerated and CJ can open it and bring it back for export. So we will find out real soon here. Yep, there's a different Infernus, and CJ can open it, and the police are going to chase after him. But what I'm going to do is fast forward or just cut over to the Easter Basin docks where CJ has delivered the Infernus. I'm sure you noticed the Infernus has changed paint scheme because I had CJ drive it into the auto body shop to repair some damage and get it cleaned up to try and maximize the profit. It's $100, but it can bring you back thousands of dollars if the vehicle is badly damaged. $95,000. The Infernus was worth the extra 100 bucks to repair. Now, there are going to be other cars, the Feltzer, the Remington, and the Camper. The Camper has a specific area, so does the Remington. The Feltzer, I'm going to have to do randomly, so I'm going to go for the Camper. The camper is found at this diner area in the in San Fierro, and it's just above the um, club where you meet Jizzy, and it seems to be walled in here. And the only way I kind of just jumped up onto the car and climbed up the wall, and there is the camper. It's in this little janky area around the, as you can see, weird enclosed circular area. And now that I've got the camper, I'm going to take it to the Easter Basin docks for um, exporting. Okay, at the docks, and we will go through the normal use the crane pick it up and drop it etc so i'm just going to again fast forward through that motion successfully delivered and ready for export so let's see how much 24960 there should now be three vehicles left on the board here. Um, 
There is the Feltzer, Sentinel, and Remington. The Remington has a specific location, so I will send CJ after that one, and it will be a return trip to Los Santos for that vehicle because it spawns more in Los Santos than it does here in San Fierro. Now, the other thing is the Feltzer and the Sentinel are going to be really difficult to find because they are random. So, again, I'm going to send CJ to Los Santos to get the Remington. Actually, the next vehicle is not the Remington. It's going to be the Feltzer. Uh, CJ was walking around San Fierro trying to steal a random vehicle when I recognized the Feltzer. And so I figured I'd have him jack the Feltzer and bring it back to Easter Base and Docks for export. Again, some of these vehicles are just random, and you're going to come upon them while walking around. While I was, again, trying to find a vehicle for CJ to drive to the airport and, uh, you know, steal a plane, hey, there's a Feltzer. Why not steal it and take the opportunity? So let's fast forward through the crane again. Another successful delivery, and how much will we get for this vehicle? It is $34,790, and CJ is off to get the Remington, and the Sentinel will be the last vehicle because, again, it is random. So, oh, and I will do a video on that motorcycle there, and that it is sort of an event, but I will do that in a future video. So now let's get CJ to Los Santos for the Remington. Okay, CJ is now in Los Santos, and the Remington has a specific location which I marked on the map and going to ride CJ toward it. It is at the train station where um, CJ does a mission with uh, a couple of guys uh, at the time, Ryder and Big Smoke and even Cesar. But this case, oh, there's a Remington right there, randomly generated. That's the Remington, but I'm going to steal this one. The problem is now the Remington has to be driven all the way to uh, San Piero. And yeah, it can be quite a long drive. So I'm going to bring this back to CJ's house, save it, and then. Um, just, well, I'm going to save it and then ultimately drive it back. But I'm just going to cut to where the Remington is now being loaded onto the uh, cargo ship to be exported. After a nice long drive and a refreshing paint job due to some road wear, the Remington is ready for export. Boarding. Yippee Skippy, another successful delivery. This vehicle is ready for exporting. $29,160. Now that means only the Sentinel is now needed and uh yeah i had a lot of fun trying to get that vehicle and 
it involved um, doing the valet, not the valet mission, but hanging out at the valet and causing some problems. So let's get on with that fun clip of fun. When you have a car that is random, one of the things you want to do is check locations where vehicles will spawn at random. And in this case, I am checking the valet garage because there are random vehicles that spawn there and you can find them. And if you watch the valet for a while, those vehicles will randomly spawn, but I don't see anything around that looks like it would match the Sentinel. So I'm going to grab this van and have a little fun and let things happen at random. And nope, that's not the. Sentinel, so again, I'm going to grab this van and have a little fun with it. You hit! Yeah, I'm driving the van over here. Near the valet area, there's this plaza where other cars spawn randomly, as do the parking lot, etc. If you don't see something there, uh, again, I'm going to have a little fun with this van and get it valeted. So let's watch what happens when I just leave it here. Why don't you? I just checked it. Okay, the last dude just smashed into other guy's car, and now he's going to chase after them with a shovel, and then this dude runs over the valet and smashes shovel dude's car. Yeah, uh, this is going to be a little chaotic, and the valets took my van. And this dude is chasing after the valet with a shovel. Yeah, um, he's going to go all the way, it looks like. Or, oh, he's coming back at me. And, oh, hey, he just randomly, yep, steals that guy's car. And it's hilarious. Yeah, he kicked the valet out of his own car. And, well, I was going to try and punch out the valet. I'm just going to steal a random car now and uh, drive around and try and get the valets to park this one. Uh, this is kind of fun, messing with the valets. And let's see what happens next. You need to move. There goes another tip. Hey, I'm stealing this random car and parking it right here on the street that the valet was supposed to take. And for some reason, it looks like Shovel Dude bought his car back. So I'm going to see what's happening with some other vehicle. I'm going to randomly steal it and park it over here. And, you know, just get rid of it. And let's see what's happening with the valets. Ah, uh, nah, more, more, more accidents and more chaos here. And let's see. <laughs> this guy is just kind of circling around. It's interesting. I wonder what will happen. And maybe a valet showing up or something will get him to stop circling and circle and circle and circle What's the matter? 
Well, once the valet arrived, he stopped circling, but now random gunfire caused him to almost run over the valet. Hey, what the, the cops, what's going on here? Why is Circle Dude trying to help out here? Is he being a good Samaritan? Well, apparently not. So, uh, Circle Dude gets back in his car. Do you think he's going to return? Hmm, good chance. And, well, hello. How you doing, lady? Yeah, I'm going to take a look at this lady over here and forget Circle Dude. Oh, hey, Circle Dude returned. Awesome. Okay, now let's see. Ooh, hello, red dress lady again. Hi, Circle Dude. Let's see how much more I can mess with the valets here. Look at that chaos up front, just caused by me randomly moving a car around. So I'm going to bring this down and, um, yeah, smash that here. And uh, it looks a little boring. Maybe I'll send, oh, what's going on over here? Some dude coming at, up. Oh, Hey, he's coming at CJ. Uh, I got to take him out. Boom, boom. Ah, down, down. And some money. So um, I'm going to randomly steal a car here. And how else? How can I mess with the valleys? Uh, he's got that car. Will someone come up and park? Or do I kind of have to deal with this on my own a little bit? Um, you know, messing with the valets is kind of fun. Hey, here's a car. I'm going to take this one. And let's see what happens. I'm going to act as... Oh, the dude rear-ended me. Oh, man. I'm going to park this car here and let it get hit by a train. Oh, the dude who rear-ended me is coming at me. Ah, take him down. Down, 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 dude. Here's some random cash here. And this guy, he seems kind of cool. Uh, but I'll take his car anyway. You know, messing with the valleys is kind of fun. But I'm going to have to get on to uh, the Sentinel, even though it's kind of fun. Um, I randomly actually did find the Sentinel in the valet garage. But not before I changed clothing. And yeah, enough with this. Let's get on with the Sentinel. After going to victims and changing CJ's clothing, I did find the Sentinel in the valet garage, and this is the final car. So let's get it back to Easter Basin Docks and finish out this list. Uh, this is where, ah, uh, damn it, get into a serious accident with this thing. Yeah, that's going to cost me a couple grand. Uh, more damage. Might as well just keep going. I don't need the hood anyway. I'm going to get it resprayed, then bring it back to the docks. Now to park this Sentinel and use the crane to load it onto the export vehicle. And we have completed the first 10 vehicles on the list. There are two more lists to come. Wahoo! Successfully delivered! This vehicle for export. Now let's see how much money we made. $84,055. And now let's check out the next list. There are three lists you have to go through. And if you take a look at this list, um, I actually have a few of those already stored away. And let's see what uh, is today's Club Admiral Feltzer. Eh, I don't care. If I can get on a Tuesday for the Patriot, that would be awesome. It was a lot of fun messing with the um, valets. If you are looking for cars and you're doing it at random, go to parking lots. Go to areas where 
cars spawn at random, and you might find them. And if you want to, you can Google up or DuckDuckGo or whatever you want to use locations for cars because some of these cars do have specific locations. And as I said, if you can store vehicles that you think are going to be on the list, well, hey, more power to you. And you can then get those vehicles to the basin docks a lot easier than just randomly running around and wasting hours of time. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like videos like it, hit the subscribe button. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for stopping by. Do you still live in the ghetto? It's cool. Hey, bye, hot stuff. Hasta luego. Hey there, lady. Hey, chico. Have you sold your soul, like me? It's crap. See you later. Ciao. I'm a striving professional, lady. Hey there. I love having an education. It's pretty nice. So, uh, have you ever been to college? It's just horrible. Bye, lady. Bye, baby. Hey there. Hi, cutie. Have you started on a great career like me? It is pretty rad. Hey, bye, hot stuff. Watch it. Hasta luego. Ah. Hey, chico. I really love my job. It's the bestest. Have you had a gambling problem? It's cool. See you later. Ciao. Hey there, lady. Hey there. I hate slackers. It's just horrific. Do you still live in the ghetto? It's pretty nice. Bye, lady. Bye, baby. I'm a striving professional, lady. Hi, cutie. I cannot bear lack of ambition. I'm not doing any charity work today, okay?